Hello again, it's Raquel with Succulents Box. Today let's talk about cacti and their ability to heal after damage. Most of the time your plant can heal itself, but you need to lend it a helping hand. We all know that cacti store water in their chunky stems, so their stems are plump and soft. Cacti can easily break and have minor cuts or scrapes. It's not rare when cactus lose a piece or two of its stems due to transport, repotting, or animal biting. Deeper cuts like bites from an animal or deep scrapes are greater cause for concern. Other than physical damages, cacti are also prone to sunburn and frost damage. A cactus growing inside and accustomed to indirect light may be sunburned if not acclimated to direct sunlight and will develop burning spots and yellowing stems. On the other hand, a cactus left in freezing temperature under 40 degrees Fahrenheit will have blackened, softened stems. Another damage your cactus may encounter is root damage. Its roots can be physically damaged while repotting and can develop root rot due to overwatering or poor drainage. Now let's move on to a rescue plan for your cactus. For cuts and scrapes, if your cactus has minor cuts or scrapes, it can heal easily, but deep cuts need your attention. When dealing with larger cuts on your cactus, the best thing to do is to smooth out the damaged area using a clean knife and let it callous over for a day or so. Then spray the wound with a little fungicide and cover it with plastic wrap to prevent bugs from getting inside. For breakages, if part of your cactus breaks off, in most cases it'll heal, but slowly, and your plant won't grow back looking exactly as it was. When dealing with breakage, you can either leave the plant as is and wait for new stems to grow, or the broken piece can be used to propagate, or you can try to reattach it to your plant. To propagate, let the broken piece callus over for a day or so, and then dip the cut end into a rooting hormone to help it grow. It's easiest to propagate cacti with large leaves or offshoots that break off. If the trunk of your cactus breaks, it's best to reattach it instead. If you want to reattach the two broken parts together, don't forget to clean the area around the break first. When the broken piece is in the right place, you can use a rubber band to keep it attached to the plant. With the right growing condition, your broken cactus will heal itself in a couple of months. To deal with damaged or rotted roots, pruning and repotting are your best rescue plan. You'll first need to remove your cactus from its pot and brush off any excess dirt from the roots. To deal with sunburn and frost damage, if your cactus has dark yellowing spots, you can scrape off the damaged flesh with a clean knife. Then you can treat the wounded area as you would with any other cut or scrape. And that's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you have any questions or recommendations, don't hesitate to leave your comment in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Happy gardening. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.